Well, after four weeks of long hours and many sleepless nights, I finally finished my off-road project trailer here. And so today, I'm gonna give you a tour of the world's best off-grid, family, budget-based trailer. I might be a little bit biased. No, but seriously, if you didn't catch the reveal video I did on this trailer when I first got it secondhand, showing you know what it looked like originally, definitely check that out because I think you'll really appreciate the transformation that's taken place here, especially on a practical level of how this is actually gonna be used. Which speaking of, some of the goals for this project, you know, I wanted something that was family friendly for a family of four or five. I also wanted something that was budget friendly. I didn't wanna spend outrageous amounts, you know, getting this trailer transformed. And then third, I really wanted something that was quick and easy to set up, you know, for one or two nights where if you decide you wanna go somewhere, spur of the moment, you've got everything you need here in this trailer to go out off the grid for one or two nights, anywhere you want. You've got everything from electricity to water, to sleeping, to shelter, all packed into this trailer that you just take off with a moment's notice. Now we're about to find out if I accomplished at least one of those goals. You know, when I go camping, especially if it's just a day or two trip, I like to be in and out. I like to get my campsite set up quickly and not have just tons of stuff to set up and tear down each time. And so I'm gonna pretend like I'm pulling up to a campsite here in just a minute and time myself, start the stopwatch, time myself and just see how long does it take to set up this entire unit. And everything you're seeing, by the way, that I'm gonna be setting up is either attached to the trailer or stored inside of it. So let me start the stopwatch here and let's find out just how long it takes to set everything up. It's go time. We are all set up now. I think the camera glitched out there at the tail end, so I might have lost some, some footage there, but it was right over 15 minutes, 16 minutes, 39 seconds to be exact. And that was really the first time I think I set everything up in one swoop like that. So there were some inefficiencies, some areas where I could do a little bit better, but uh, and I was moving pretty quick too. I worked up a, a good sweat. But still, I mean, about a 15 minute setup, that is about what I was aiming for. Again, I like to be in and out real quick and have everything set up. So let me give you a tour now and show you what this is all about. I'm gonna start up here on the nose of the trailer and really for the sake of time today, I'm just gonna point out the major, you know, the significant mods that I completed because a lot of what you're seeing here is just standard with the, the Smitty Built Scout platform. So I'm just gonna really focus on the mods. But let's move over here. You'll see you got this nice fan. This is basically the innards of a fantastic fan. You know, just like one that you would find on my pinnacle back here. It's the innards of one of those powerful, fantastic fans packed into a, a portable fan that you can plug in here. And I mean, this feels amazing. There's so much airflow coming through here. Uh, so love this. And that's gonna be used primarily in the tent, but I can move it around, you know, outside. It just really takes the edge off of a hot day to feel all that airflow coming at you there. Notice how we've got a special cover here and surprise, look what's under here. You've got a 120 volt connector. So you might be wondering, what is that right there? Well, let's take a look. 
if you saw my reveal video, you remember in here was the generator compartment. There was a giant, I think it was a 2600 watt Smitty built gas generator. Well, I said goodbye to the gas generator and hello to a lithium power bank. And this is really cool. I might do a more detailed video on this later, but basically this thing is not only a lithium battery bank, but it's also an inverter. So I've got 120 volt electricity here. And what I love about this is I've got one plug here to connect and disconnect that supplies 12 volt power to the entire unit here. That's right, one plug, and I've got 12 volt power to everything going on. So I love that, and that's specific to this Blue Eddy model here. But basically, I've just got a real simple fuse panel back in there. And then you'll notice I've added lighting, 12 volt lighting to the whole unit inside and out. You know, I don't like to carry around flashlights and have all kinds of lights that I'm fiddling with. And this way I've got everything lit up inside here. You can see some strip lighting in this compartment. And then I've got my main switch panel here. So you can see I have added lights all around the unit here. Just real basic toggle switches there. Basically my thinking is, you know, a lot of times when you're going camping and you're just doing a one or two day trip, maybe you're leaving Friday evening, it gets kind of late after dusk and you're pulling up to your campsite and it's already dark. And uh, you know, just uh, it gets confusing. You're, you're kind of disoriented because you can't see everything. And you got people out there with flashlights trying to help you out. And I said, I don't want any of that. I want to have everything lit up all the way around the rig, 360 degrees. So when I get to a campsite at night, I've got no problem. So what I did is I put these bright, LED lights on all sides of the rig. And what's really cool about these is they go both amber like you're seeing now so that you don't attract as many bugs. And that's more for when you don't need as much lighting. You just wanna have a little bit of ambience. Or if you switch them the other way, you can see it goes to a much brighter, just a regular cool white light. And so I've got those going all the way around. You can see they all change from amber to white absolutely love these i'll put some b-roll footage of what this looks like at night but i mean it is super bright it's almost like going to a stadium where just everything lights up right away so that's what that is and again it's all the way around the rig on the front every side all the cargo compartments everything what's really cool about this blue eddy battery bank here i can pull this out anytime i want it's not permanently mounted you know it just has a couple connections here i can pull this out and use this for whatever purpose I need to. If I wanna you know, take a day trip with the car somewhere and plug a cooler in, I just take this battery bank. I mean, this thing's easily liftable by one person, portable. And again, it's got 120 volt power, more on that later, but everything's all right here. And so going back to our little outlet right here, this is a convenient way to charge up that battery. It's just wired through here and goes straight into the unit to the AC adapter and then connects back down here. And so that way I can leave everything shut. If it's raining outside, you know, it's all waterproof and I can still charge up the unit. Plus if I go to a campsite and I wanna plug into the power, if they have a pedestal, I can easily do that and have endless power. Now, one of the questions I'm sure you're wondering is how much you know, how long can you go off the grid with a battery bank like this? And you know, it all depends on what you're using. But let's just say in my case, you know, I plan to use lighting at night. In fact, if I'm out in the National Forest somewhere at night or even a regular campsite, I would plan to leave at least two or three of these lights on in the amber mode the entire night just to have some ambience, you know, some security around your campsite. So I would probably have two or three of those on. Of course, the refrigerator is going to be running the whole time. And if it's in the summer, definitely this fan right here. And based on my calculations, I could get at least two full days, two full nights out of this battery bank with all of that running. And really the big, you know, consumers are the fan and the refrigerator. But I mean, that's conservative estimate. So you know, maybe you could get longer two or three days, but that's on a single charge with no solar, nothing to, to recharge this battery bank. And that's perfect for my situation because again, I'm only looking for a one or two night kind of stay. And so that's the electrical system. And really some of those mods took the longest to complete just with all the wire runs and getting everything figured out properly. But let's move on here to the tent here. I love this tent right here. This is not the tent that you saw in the reveal video. And let me tell you why I swapped it out because the tent that it came with, really the size, there was nothing wrong with it. It was a Smitty built tent, kind of an extra large model, king size bed. 
and really this is about the same size as far as the sleeping area inside it's a little bit larger than a king size bed but there's one major difference and that is the hard shell portion back here and i own one of these tents not a hard shell but a 230 with a soft shell before and uh, it just took a lot of time for me to set up and tear down each time the way you had to flip the cover over and zip everything up especially if you got just one person i love these hard shell tents they're just a lot faster and why i picked this tent here a couple reasons first off again i wanted to be budget friendly and this bushveld tent this is from the overland vehicle systems brand it's a, actually a very affordable tent they put a lot of sales on it on their website direct from the manufacturer but the main reason why i picked this tent is that the width right here is over six feet there's 78 inches across inside which means you know i'm over six foot tall when we sleep inside of here we can all go long ways across this width and that way we get more sleeping space all the way across here which means you can accommodate four people now yeah it's going to be a little bit cramped but if you can imagine a king size bed plus you know about six eight inches there that's about what this is like inside we've got a nice sturdy ladder going up here we got boot bags on either side all this comes with the the tent by the way they're not accessories that you have to buy but check out how spacious this is again this is a little bit larger than a king size bed but notice up there we've got an led light and there are not any cables or anything running down to our battery banks so you might be thinking well how did you do that do you have a portable little battery bank back there no actually i ran 12 volt and 120 volt power into the tent permanently and i'll show you that here in just a minute how i did it but check this out we've got a 120 volt little outlet strip here with usb ports and everything on it then i've got just a regular usb 5 volt power and of course that's what's running up to these this light strip then we've got another 12 volt port here this is what i use for the fan to plug into and i mean that makes a world of difference when you're camping in the summer and you can have that fan i showed you out there plugged in inside your tent circulating that air makes all the difference in the world of course we got basic usb-c charging and again all this is wired into that blue eddy power bank permanently so i'm never having to bring these cords up here or run wires to get this power this is all permanently done and let me show you how i did that outside real quick so i'm coming at you from the back of the tent the rear underneath and notice how there's a piece of liquid tight conduit coming out of the trailer here and going up into the bottom of the tent so that is how i've got permanent 120 volt and 12 volt power everything's in that liquid tight conduit you know it's sealed off from the elements but that way i've got permanent power in the back of the tent i don't have to worry about you know spending extra time to run those wires each time and again it just really emphasizes one of my underlying goals with this whole project and that is time savings i wanted everything to be quick where i can get in and out and don't have to spend extra time you know running wires and whatnot into the tent so i love how i've got permanent power there whatever i need to power whether it's a phone a laptop or the fan you know the lights it's all right there but let's come around here to the back side and work our way to the galley again we got lights 360 all the way around the trailer here we got our rear storage compartment here all these drawer slides come standard these are really helpful really practical i've got just one of those roam storage boxes here for dry storage things that need to be you know waterproof and sealed from the elements and then over here this is a 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator so you're probably familiar with these you know dometic is kind of king of this space but i actually did a review on this previously Cory sent me this to run some tests on so i'll put a card up for that but this is really a budget-based contender to the dometic 12 volt refrigerators this thing gets the job done it fits perfectly in here i mean you can see you could go a lot bigger there's a lot of space up above it here but uh, this thing is perfect. You know, it's got, of course, a refrigerator space here, plenty of room for, you know, a one or two day trip. And it even has then a dual compartment here for a freezer space. And I mean, this thing, I plugged it in when I was plugging everything else in. It's already reached its desired temperature. So definitely check this out. It really is a budget-based contender, but it was really important to me to make sure we had a refrigerator. And again, all this is running off of that power system I showed you. Check this out back here. We've got 
two 12 volt outlets up there, a 120 volt outlet. Of course, you can see the lights and everything lighting up this space. And I almost forgot to mention this giant 270 degree awning. This is one of my favorite aspects of the trailer. You know, me and sun don't work out so good. And so I gotta have shade. And this thing goes 270 degrees all the way around the trailer just giving you a canopy of shade. So I absolutely love this. There's obviously different brands that make this. I stuck with the same brand that I did on the tent Overland Vehicle Systems just to have one vendor. And I'm really pleased with this awning. It's got all aluminum hardware here, you know, stainless steel, marine grade parts there. So I think this is gonna hold up very nicely, but it's just very robust. And I mean, check out just how much shade the awning provides. You know, the sun is still rising, so it's at a pretty sharp angle still, but just look at the shadow that the awning is putting down here on the ground. Just tons of shade, so I absolutely love that. Over here, we've got our dining area, our sitting area. This is all from the Dometic Go series. And I did a review on the table and the chairs, this whole set a few weeks back. So I'll put a card up for that if you're interested. But I've been really impressed with the stuff that Dometic is putting out kind of in their overlanding, their car camping series. So I'm a big fan of this table and chair set. These are incredibly comfortable for folding chairs especially. So definitely check out my review video on that. But I mean, all this fits in the rear storage back there as I unpacked it. And all of this is in the shade. This is perfect for a family of four to eat off of or play games. But next, let's take a look at really what I think is my favorite aspect of this whole trailer build, the galley here. And I'm just gonna start by pointing out the Blackstone griddle. I think this is entirely unique. I've never seen a portable off-road trailer that has a Blackstone griddle. That's right, a Blackstone griddle. Now these are incredible. I was introduced to these, believe it or not, by Jacob when I bought my Pinnacle about two years ago. And it came with the Blackstone griddle. I had never used one before and started using it. And I understand now why people love these so much. And so I decided I gotta put one of these on this off-road trailer. So this is a 17 inch Blackstone griddle here. And of course it's connected to the propane tank that you saw in the front here. So this is one of those little baby tanks. It holds about 1.2 gallons or so of propane, which based on my calculations, I think this is about a 12,000 BTU unit at full blast. Don't quote me on that. But based on my calculations, I think I'll be able to run this for at least 12 hours, if not more. Uh, cooking meals off of that little tank. So that's perfect, but it's got a hood on it and everything. And the reason I love this is the cleanup. You know, now if you haven't figured out the cleanup, I can understand this might seem like a, a mess, but if you figure out how to season it properly, you know, I haven't even seasoned this yet. The cleanup in my opinion is really basic because you're just sliding everything down there into the grease trap and that's it. You don't have any other dishes or anything. I mean, maybe you've got your spatula and your scraper, but that's it. And I love how you can cook every meal on here, you know, breakfast, bacon, hash browns, eggs, pancakes, whatever. Then you lunch, you can do, you know, tortillas, dinner, burgers, meat, steak, whatever you want. So I love the versatility that the Blackstone griddle offers. Now, in addition to cooking your food, you've got to have a proper space to prep. And so check out this giant prep table that's off to the side, kind of forms a perfect L shape over here. I mean, just look how spacious this is. And basically this just clips onto the side of the trailer. And then I'm just using the fender to support it. And so it's a nice sturdy table all the way around. You don't have to worry about it wobbling or anything. And basically what I did is I bought a bamboo table that was designed to fold in half. So this is just one half of it right here that you're seeing. And basically dismantled it just to get the bamboo tabletop out of it and then added the brackets to support it onto the trailer. And I love how this turned out, just really practical to be able to prep everything. And then notice back here, we've got our dry storage and then our water. So this comes with the Smitty Belt, this little stainless steel sink. And I kind of debated about what I wanted to do for the water system. You know, obviously you can do a big water tank, add it onto the Smitty Belt and have a pump and everything and then a faucet. But for me, I just wasn't quite sure that I wanted to go to that extent because again, this is just a day or two type trailer for me. So what I opted to do is go for the Dometic, this is in their camping, their car camping line, the Dometic water storage system. So basically what you're seeing back here is one of their water jugs right here. It's two and a half gallons. There's a second one back there. 
but these are super versatile you can let them just pour out through gravity or you can get this extra little faucet right here that is connected in through this hose and so whenever you want to use water you just tap on the top here and then you get water that comes out here there's a nice little light down here as well i love this because it's portable again if i want to use this and go car camping i can just pull this water jug out pull the the faucet out there and i just love the functionality of this it just works it's simple so that's really neat from dometic and then back here is all my dry storage so anything that doesn't need to be refrigerated and again i wanted something that i can grab and go and so there's two of these dry storage containers there's one that's smaller right here and then a larger one back here but these are also from dometic and basically i can just grab these bring them into the house load them up with all my my goods that are dry and then put them back in here and they fit really nicely again notice the lights here all these lights are wired into that battery bank there there's also a 120 volt outlet back here in the galley bay perfect for a coffee maker or something else everything's just convenient you know laid out right here easy to get to of course you got your paper towel holder from expedition essentials you've probably seen that before got to have that there especially with the blackstone griddle but I love how this galley area turned up. Again, well lit at nighttime if you're cooking with that bright light there. So really pleased with just how all this ended up overall. Well, that is a quick tour of my off-road project trailer. I mean, as you can tell, I'm really pleased with the way this, this turned out. I think it'll be perfect for a, a family of four, at least the way that I envision it being used. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. You know, I'm thinking maybe in the future I'll do some additional videos more detailed on the perhaps the electrical system with that Blue Eddy power bank and how all that was done. You know, maybe do some reviews on some of the major components like the awning here, the tent, and that sort of thing. So definitely let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.